Hi guys, how's it going? I had a viewer request uh, that wanted to see my workflow from beginning to end, kind of how I process images, what I do with them um, once I download them, and how I go from a camera full of images to a complete set of proofs at the end. So we're going to do that today. Um, we're actually going to start in Bridge. And that is Adobe's um, digital asset manager. I use it primarily as just a file browser. Um, I do have another video about Bridge and, my, and how to set it up and some kind of tips and tricks and things like that. So if you're not familiar with it, definitely watch that video so you can get a little bit more acquainted. Um, today we're gonna be working in the film strip mode. And um, I have this box here, this large center box as big as I can get it where I can still see a little bit of detail and what's going on down here in our film strip of images. And I have this scooted over because we don't really need that much space, even though these are all primarily, for the most part, these are vertical images. Um, so our width doesn't matter too much, but in case we pull up a horizontal one, I still want to be able to see it well. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is the first thing I want to do is rename everything. So I'm just going to click my any image actually and say control A to select all. You could also click the first image and, and hold shift and scroll all the way to the end and click the last image. Um, that seems excessive. So I just say control A, tools, batch rename, and um, we're going to rename this up uh, with text and their last name we'll say is Smith. And then I like to put a space so our number doesn't touch the name. That's just my preference. You might have a different preference. If you don't have a text spot right here, you can go in and choose um, text or if you wanted to do something different, if you, if you rename a different way, that's completely fine. Um, the second thing I wanna do, and if I didn't have a second column, I would just click plus. I want a uh, sequence number, there we go, and I would like to start it at one, and I like three digits in case we got into the hundreds in our original images. That way we wouldn't um, have A copies, B copies, things like that. So then we also, you can see down here, this was our original file name or current file name. And it's going to rename it to Smith space 001. Some of you might even prefer like a underscore there. I just like a space. That's what I do. Okay, so we've renamed them. There we go. They're easier to look at now. No more weird DSCF um, file name. So this first one is obviously not something we're going to pick. So we're just going to move straight into these. And what I'm doing is I'm looking... Down here at the bottom, I can see we have one, two, three, four, all in this pose. Um, a lot of the ease of picking here starts with shooting. I, I don't shoot excessively, at least I try not to. And that way when I get back to the computer, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna have as many to look at. It's gonna go a lot smoother, a lot faster. So looking at these, I know I absolutely love his smile and her face and number three, so I'm just gonna click right here and say control seven to label it yellow. There we go. Guys, I'm gonna pull this up and make that small. There we go. I wanted to show you this down here and that was blocking it. If you don't want to hold the control key when you're selecting, you can deselect use control for labels and ratings. And then you can just use your number keys um, without holding control. I prefer to have it clicked. And I go over that a little bit more in the bridge setup tips and tricks. All right, back to these three. So I really just need one of these, one best one out of these three. And I'm looking, I'm also kind of paying attention to their heads in the horizon. Um, do I like his head way up here past, past this little hill? Um, I'm really kind of debating between these two. This is not my favorite. And I'm going to go with this one because I like his head position a little bit better. I think their faces are great in all of them. This is just my favorite. So there we go, number seven. I leave these two just unlabeled, they're there. Um, I just did not pick them. So then we change positions. We have these two purely um, because of head position and my photography and, and the way I shot it. I like this one better. I like what I did here. I think their faces are great in both. So I'm just gonna go with the one that's photographically more pleasing to me. 
There we go. Moving on. And I use my, if I'm using my control key to click three at a time, I could also hold my shift key, click beginning and end. Um, since I'm using the control key to select the labels and ratings, I just find it easiest to keep my pinky there. And then I'm using my right hand to click, click, click. So I'm looking at these. This is not my favorite on the right. I like the middle because there's just a little bit more space in the kiss. And um, I think that one's the best one. And so also you can see their little file names are down here. So if they don't come up in order, you can always just reference Smith 9, Smith 9, click, Control 7. There we go. Moving on to Mom. Mom looks a little sleepy in 13, so we'll throw that out. She looks maybe a little sleepy here, so we're going to go with this middle one, number 12, Control 7. And then we got some funny ones. Love this big laugh. Love this big laugh. Okay, so these are tough for me because I think they're all super, super cute. But what I, I'm trying to s decide what I think they would want to order and what they would want to see uh, and enjoy. So I'm going to go with, oh, it's a tough decision, guys. I want to know in, in the comments, tell me which one of these Maybe two or three you would have picked. 14, 15, 16, or 17. Because I'm going to go with, I'm going to say that this 14 is not even a funny one. That's just a sweet one. So we're going to now just look at funny ones. They're so cute, guys. I'm going to go with 16 right in the middle. I want to hear what you guys say too. So definitely leave that in the comments. All right, um, just so you know, we're not going to run through all of these. There's 96 images. I'm just trying to get this down to about 30. Um, I like to give my clients about 30 proofs from their session. I find that that's enough so they see everything without it being too overwhelming. Um, we're still not even going to get to 30 today. I'm just kind of running through these just to show you um, quickly how I pick and my decision-making process. So now I have um, Bride by Herself. I kind of skipped over all these in the middle because I want to compare similar images. I like the lighting. I like her in both of them. I like the lighting here on the right, number 24 better. So I'm going to mark it. And I'm also going to mention that when I go to edit these, this is not something I'm going to take out in the first edit. Oops. Um, if, the, if this is something they purchase, I want to keep, I'll go in and take it out then. But to take it out now would be a lot of work. So um, I'll just leave that in for now. And then we're going to look at these. One, two, three, four, five. I love 22. They're all so very similar, guys. Oh, we even have this one here at the end. I'm just going to say 22. And our head's turned a little bit more in 21. They're all so very similar. That any of those images would be fine. And that's probably overshooting on my part. Um, this one I don't like because it's a little bit bright. So um, I toned it down a little bit here. And honestly, I could have stopped shooting after just two or three. All right, let's check out these. Again, I would say overshooting. How many pictures do we need? The exact same thing. Just so I have a little bit more space to work with when I crop it in, I'm going to go with number 28. There we go. Control 7 to flag that. Um, so that's basically my picking process. Like I said, we're not going to go through all of these. That would take forever and probably make for um, boring content. But that's just kind of how I run through things, my decision-making process and my thought-making process. When I get done, I go up here and instead of sort by file name, I sort by rating or label. There we go. And then it puts all of your labeled ones at the end. And I can see that we have... 11 flagged out of our 96. And so these are the ones I would actually, once I finished picking everything, I would go in, open up in Photoshop and edit to, um, to what the way I want them to look when the client actually sees them. So if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. You can leave them in the comments. If you want a copy of my actions and my tools for Photoshop, you can email me at Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, I love viewer submissions and questions, so send them on my way. That would be awesome. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.